Prime Time Glick with Jiminy's special guest, Rebecca Romaine Stamos. <laughs> I love her. Look at how beautiful she is. <laughs> oh, I'd love to bury you and dig you up later. I'll tell you that right now. And David Duchovny. We were one of the first people to wear a thong. I did wear a thong. One of the first men. And you know what happened to it? And it's a, it got stuck there for about a week. I had to go to Cedars. <laughs> they pulled me out here, yeah. and they took a stitch by stitch. I'm Adrian Ben Voorhees, and am I the only one who needs a click fix? No, Damn straight. Ladies and gentlemen, Jiminy Glick. To be home. I've been on Earth far too long. I like flying through space with a smile on my face, sitting down on the trees on the ground. That's why Apollo 13 give a flight of my dreams. Here's hoping nothing goes wrong. We could have been killed, sir. That explosion was way too powerful. Good Lord, you were supposed to simulate my oxygen tanks blowing up, not Louis Anderson after a high colonic. <laughs> oh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I really... Could you help me with this, Adrian? Do something to help me. Thank you, dear. We were attempting... Shift forward now. <laughs> I'm shifting forward. You shift back, boy. <laughs> we were attempting a big opening number from the Apollo 13 movie that starred the wonderful Tom Hanks. And you see, it was originally shot as a musical. And the way the director, Ron Howard, who he saw it as that, this musical, that you know that Ron Howard. I know. Cute little Opie oh, character yeah. from that wonderful Mayberry series that I meant to see, but I never got to. Anyway, he was testing this movie in Santa Clara. Oh! oh help me pull these, pull this off, Adrian. Oh, it's like oh, you're on your own. <laughs> Remember that time we took the train across country? <laughs> oh, that was the moment. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, anyways, he found that with the exception of Gary Sinise's love ballad to Buzz Aldrin. The song's just tight big time. What was the point I was trying to make? Oh, uh, something about uh, Ronnie Howard? <laughs> yes, yes. And all those terrible songs he cut from the musical version of Apollo 13. <laughs> Although I think Ronnie Howard is brave. And I bet there's a lot of brain power underneath that baseball cap of his. As opposed to hair. <laughs> I don't get it. Because he's bald. Who? Ronnie Howard. No! As a cue ball. Oh, don't tell me the lope has gone calling mockery on us. I can't have this conversation right now. I'm, I'm hemorrhaging. Of course, the neglect family, my wife Dixie is the musical one. She's a wonderfully accomplished pianist. In fact, I believe we have a home movie of her tinkling the ivories, do we not? Ramon, where should I be looking? Are you serious? All right, but it seems odd. <laughs> well, I know. Good. Remember all the boys used to love it when I played that? They'd say, do that thing with your fist. No, they do that, and I do this. Mm -hmm. I love it, so. <laughs> I love that. It's fun. Are all the memories coming back to you now? Not really. So, your world is really started about how many days ago? About three. Three days ago. Mm -hmm. But you remember me, don't you? Ah, uh, well, I'll never forget you. <laughs> <laughs> and your counselor feels that that's still okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Bad statement. I know. Smell that ice. It smells like Courtney Love's couch, doesn't it? A little bit. Do you ever change the ice? Or you just leave it there from one year's end. Why? Why change it? It's water. It never gets old. <laughs> yes, but there's, there's <laughs> sense that I have... Well, we won't. We'll discuss that later. What are you getting to play something, John? I'm not going to play anything, Jimmy. You know that I can't. I have lost it. I have lost my talent. No, you haven't. So you never lose it. You can lose a lot of things. You can lose your looks. You can lose your figure. You can lose your figure bad. 
But you can never lose your talent. And I, I think Blaine Eddy said that over a cocktail. And, a, and he, we were we were in a... Did I ever tell you that story when I shared a, uh, a flight with Blaine Eddy? Many times. No, well, I won't bore you with it. Say yeah. something. Well, I played real well when I'm 12, and then I made sure to leave. Just, it's so hard for me to keep my hands off you. I like that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Let me just see what I can do for you. Mm -hmm.